success. 62 years, seven Memorial Cup champs. Young men walked through the doors as juniors and out as NHLers. The franchise was moved to Hamilton at the end of last season, and around the empty halls of Maple Leaf Gardens, you're hard-pressed to find any signs of one of the greatest major junior franchises ever. All the signs point down the road to Hamilton, where tonight we pick up the journey at the Cops Coliseum and ask the question, can you transplant tradition? The struggling Dukes of Hamilton hit the ice against Ottawa. The discipline of frustration is the background of character. Character and resolve have been pushed to the limit this season in Hamilton. Goaltenders and defensemen have had to battle for every inch and every win. And the temperature and the stakes are going up. The Dukes are the host team for the 1989 Memorial Cup Championship. In Ottawa, the look in the players' eyes is a hopeful one. In a division packed with heavyweights, they're holding their own. Other teams have tried to jostle Ottawa into a corner time and time again, but experience tells the 67s they can prevail. Experience and Ottawa head coach Brian Kilray. He's won more games than any other coach in the history of the OHL. Live from the Cop Coliseum in Hamilton, it's CHL Sunday night on TSN. CHL Sunday night presents the Ottawa 67s and the Dukes of Hamilton. Hello everybody, I'm Paul Romanuk along with Bob McKenzie. Thrilled to be part of the first coast-to-coast -coast broadcast of a regular season junior hockey game in Canada. It's great to have you with us. The Ottawa 67s all set to play the Hamilton Dukes and what a way to start the package off hot on the heels of Canada's gold medal victory over at the World Junior Championships. Bob, you were a part of that over there. Must have been great. It was an unbelievable feeling to be Canadian over there. And you, even though you're a journalist, you really look at it. And you have to have a tough time being impartial when you see a scene like that. And uh, absolutely amazing. You know, the Quebec League had only one player on that team, Stéphane Fassett. But Stéphane Fassett was the most important part of that team. And without him, there would have been no medal, never mind a gold medal. I think uh, the morale and the motivation all around Canadian junior hockey has to be in a bit of a high as a result of that gold medal victory, with the possible exception maybe of Dave Draper, who is the head coach of the Dukes of Hamilton. They are having a heck of a time, and they are going to host the Memorial Cup here. They get a berth as the host team. He's a worried man. He's a very worried man, and he's known that uh, thrill of victory because he was the general manager of that hockey team, that national team. But now he's in last place overall in the Ontario Hockey League. They're hosting the Memorial Cup, and it's a travesty to think that a junior team in last place could be the host of a national championship, but yet that's the way it stands as of right now. He's doing everything in his power to try and pull this thing together. Coming up during our first intermission, we will hear from one of the members of Canada's gold medal winning team, Eric Linders, will join us. And we will also, during our second intermission, take a look at happenings in and around the Canadian Hockey League, the Western League, the Ontario League, and the Quebec League. Coming up next, the opening face-off between the Dukes of Hamilton and the Ottawa 67s.